Hey folks, I'm Jay Mark Habibi for CNET and this is a first look at iTunes Radio. Whether you've got yourself a new device or you've upgraded an existing one, you should see iTunes Radio built right into iOS 7's music app. iTunes Radio is similar to Pandora in that it offers programmed radio stations based on your inputs, but it also offers a few key things that set it apart. To pull up iTunes Radio, just open your music app and hit the radio tab here at the bottom iTunes Radio's home screen shows you all of the stations you've created, plus a nice curated list of featured stations up top, something that Pandora doesn't have. To create a station, you can either run a search to start or browse through Apple's list of genres. Once you've made your selections, your station will immediately start playing. From the Now Playing screen, you get a few options. You can, of course, purchase the song that's playing if you like. Your iTunes account is obviously linked, so it's pretty simple or you can create a new station based on the current song or artist. Otherwise, you can do things like add variety to your station with this little three-stage slider, enable explicit content, share your station, or of course tell iTunes if you like or dislike a song. And the wish list here keeps track of songs you want to purchase later. Lastly, iTunes Radio also lets you edit stations that you've already created. Adding an additional song, artist, or genre will help the service to really home in on what you like to hear. iTunes Radio is available in the U.S. on devices running iOS 7 now. For all the details, check out our full review on CNET.com.